Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Urvashi and today in this video I'm going to be talking about Jupiter's transit through the nakshatra of Mula from the 5th of November to the 4th of January. And uh, I've already made two videos. One is on Jupiter's transit through Sagittarius. Uh, that is a general video. The second one was for all the ascendants. So this video I'm going to be talking about Jupiter going through Mula and I'm going to also uh, discuss a little bit about uh, your birth nakshatra and from there how you can see Jupiter's transit through Mula. So I'm going to give you a time timestamp below in the comment section. If you just want to go and check out from your birth nakshatra, you can just click on the timestamp and you'll go straight away to that part of the video. Or uh, I suggest that you stick around and watch this part also where I'm talking about Jupiter's transit through Mula and what is this energy about because um, I've had a lot of people uh, write to me asking me how am I considering this a good transit since the energy of Mula is disruptive. Uh, the deity rule, ruling Mula is Nairati and Nairati is the goddess for destruction and uh, Mula uh, is ruled by Ketu and Ketu is the planet for the sudden events in our lives, the sudden happenings, the sudden ups and downs. So it's not just the sudden downs, the sudden ups also. Ketu holds a karmic account of uh, our past life and Ketu has all the talents and the knowledge that we had in our past life. And so Ketu rules Mula and Ketu brings out that energy in Mula. So Ketu is also the planet for research. And uh, there are three nakshatras in fact ruled by Ketu. It is firstly it's Ashwini, the second is Magha and the third is Mula. So all these three nakshatras have a strong uh, you know tendency of bringing out uh, the personality of the native, the personal uh, individuality of the native I would say. So in Ashwini the it's the beginning it's when you know it's like a child when a child is born in magha it's when the child has grown up and child goes out and wants power it's about authority and power and uh, mula is all about correction now this uh, personality this child has come to that level where transformation after going through scorpio has taken place changes have taken place and there is a new learning so in Sagittarius, there is a new learning, there is higher learning, there is higher knowledge. After Scorpio, after shedding off things that we do not require in our life, we move towards Sagittarius. And in Mula, we come and learn more. We learn something that help us correct our foundation. So it's the it's a time for correction of foundations. Sometimes we guys are very unhappy in our lives about some of the basic things in our lives, maybe careers, maybe uh, your personal life, your married life, and uh, so uh, maybe your own personality, maybe a lack of confidence. Uh, so whatever the basics of your life are, whatever the foundations of your life, I'm talking about major, major parts or chunks of your life that have been bothering you. Uh, especially the you know the negativities in our life that need to be let go of and uh, that happens in the nakshatra of Mula so uh, it suggests that we take help from our elders because the ninth sign is also for our father for our teachers and gurus and elders and whoever we consider our guru whoever we think can give us the best advice even a parent you know comes in that category a father figure so you could take advice from somebody you know will put you on the right path and discuss your issues about whatever basic issues you have in life we all have issues in life and we all always trying to go towards correction and improvement in fact a lot of you have been writing to me about uh, this disruptive energy so disruption always happens when there is change and uh, all we need to do is welcome change. Change is constantly happening in life. Every minute things are changing in our life. What we were a year ago, we are not today. And if we take this change positively, then we move towards growth. And if we fight this change or we are upset about the difficulties, because whenever there is change, there is new learning that has to happen. 
and those that absorb or welcome this new learning can accept change easily and they can you know go towards growth and success which comes after mura purav shala and utra shala but those that you know get stuck up on all the changes and all the difficulties they are facing because of the changes the disruption that is happening if you focused on that side then uh success you know you may just miss that success part in your life so this is a good time for change for transformation for building a stronger base for bring, building stronger foundations so mula means roots of, and mula me, means foundations and uh, roots this could be mental roots also a lot of psychological issues you know are there in all of us and uh, this could be physical roots physical foundations of physical things around us maybe a career maybe a relationship whatever so this is a time to uh, get wisdom about those things in our life and go towards improvement it's a very powerful nakshatra so at the same time i want you to remember that in ardra right opposite sagittarius in gemini we have rahu rahu is also in ardra ardra is again another nakshatra for destruction it's again a very very powerful nakshatra when where one has the guts to go about changing everything and here we have in sagittarius we have mula right opposite and rahu and jupiter of course are both aspecting each other so uh, this is a very powerful time for change and many of us who will welcome change will go towards building a better future for ourselves so you must think about i i will not say just think about where jupiter rules in your chart or where rahu rules in your chart because jupiter is the karka of so many houses jupiter is the karka of the second house jupiter gets exalted in the fourth house jupiter is the karka of the fifth house the ninth house the 11th house so and jupiter is of course ruling two other houses in your chart so being a significator of such a major part of your you know chart uh and jupiter is the significator of so many things in our lives so you can bring change in any of those things in your lives think about all the issues in your lives and uh, you can go about uh bringing about change the energy of both rahu and jupiter are very supportive for that kind of a change right now also the nakshatra of uh, um, you know mula is very research oriented so many of us who are into research it's going to be very supportive for those people who are into some kind of a study or research or if you are just researching or trying to search reasons or questions about why and how in, in your life about what you should be doing why you should be doing is this the right future for you is this the right career this is this the right partner for you so again you'll get your answers to all that so it's a very positive uh, energy for change positive time for change disruption always comes with the uh, with change there is always some discomfort but like i said if you welcome that uh, change and uh, you know learn the new things that you need to learn in order to move forward this is the right time to move towards success Ju- you know after 12 years jupiter will be back in its mool trikon most effective sign so no matter where this jupiter is for you because a lot of people are asking me how am i saying jupiter is going to be good for cancer when it's going to be in the 6th house of a taurus when it's going to be in the 8th house capricorn 12th house libra 3rd house these are the trick bhavas because jupiter is going to be in its own rashi it's a vipreet raj yog to have these lords in their own houses it makes this house very strong and these houses don't just have negative things they have positivity as well they have a lot of good things associated the 8th house is longevity and uh, the 8th house is you know uh, other people's money wealth sudden hidden wealth gifts that you get you know occult sciences research work so there's a lot of positive there the 6th house is your daily routine and having a benefit like jupiter in its own zodiac in the 6th house will defeat all enemies for cancer will beat all competition for cancer so uh don't let this worry you the 12th house is for foreign for foreign travel travel for your subconscious for your sleep for your bedroom for your personal relationship for meditation for spirituality it's the highest house for spirituality how can that be a negative house with jupiter being posited there the third house is your communication the efforts you make 
so there is some goodness in every house and having jupiter return or come back to its own zodiac for any of the rashis is a blessing and these first two months are very critical because now is the time to accept that change to realize and understand the change first so go talk to elders to people to your father to your guru to your teacher discuss your issues or maybe you already know what your issue is that maybe you already know what you're supposed to do to welcome that change to make those uh, changes in your life so you need to go do that and then you move on towards purushada and utrashada towards success so now i am leaving you guys for now i made this small presentation the first in my life ever and i like it looks pretty neat to me you guys can give me feedback if you like it if you guys do then i can do a lot of uh, videos where a lot of communication can be done through presentations looks neater and uh, well you guys can leave your questions in the comment section we'll see you in the next video you guys stay on and watch this short clip it's just a 1 minute clip we'll see you bye bye for now